Welcome to the EZU course on email subscription management. This course will show you how to manage subscriptions for your standard and premium reports like the Pulse Report. Please note, to have access to subscribe to these reports, you must be a management system admin. To sign up for the report email, hover over the settings gear, then click on email subscription management. Here, you can add a new subscriber. Click on add new subscriber to the top left. A pop-up will appear for you to add the name and email of the new subscriber. The new subscriber does not need to be an EasyLinks user and any email can be used. Next, you can select which report the new subscriber should receive by clicking the corresponding checkbox. Agency Pulse is a monthly snapshot report of your agency's performance derived directly from your agency's EasyLinks data. This report is a good tool to help understand the health, efficiency, and profitability of your agency. Please note, past Agency Pulse reports are unable to be recreated due to the report being a snapshot of your agency in that present moment. Daily Download is a report of downloads received in the past 24 hours by carrier, line of business, and transaction type. Please note the default download user will automatically receive this report. If your default download user is no longer active, you may not receive this report. Please reach out to EasyLink support to update your default download user if necessary. Weekly Business is a report of downloads received in the past seven days. The report includes total premium and premium chains by transaction, line of business, and carrier type and state. Daily Renewal is a report of the renewal transaction received in the past 24 hours by line of business and carrier. When ready, click Save. Now you will see the new subscriber in the list. The list will display the first and last name, email address, and show if they are subscribers to standard or premium reports. To see the members that have unsubscribed, Click on Show Unsubscribed. Now, to resubscribe someone, click on Subscribe. A pop up will appear for you to select the reports for the subscriber. When ready, click Save. You can also edit the reports a subscriber received by clicking on Edit and selecting or deselecting their reports. To unsubscribe, click on Unsubscribe under the Actions column. A pop up will appear letting you know it was successful. Please note, if you are not receiving the emails, be sure to add easy links to your safe sender list and check your spam. Additionally, check the email suppression list in easy links. To check the list, hover over settings and click on email suppression list. You can search for your email using the search bar at the top. If you find your email, you can click on the trash can to remove it from the suppression list. You can also see why the email is in the suppression list by looking at the suppression event. The Suppress By column will show if the email was suppressed by the system, user, or receiver. That is all for this course on email subscription management. You should now have the knowledge and skill needed to manage subscriptions for standard and premium reports. Thanks for watching.